everyone, I'm going to quickly show you how you can set up your own obstacle course race in a small space for your child and they can help you to set it up themselves. And then in the next video I'll show you how to like do the teaching elements within the obstacle course race while your child is doing them. Okay, so I've got my contestants because I don't have any siblings so I've got some soft cuddly toys. Your child could have a go at doing some mark making and they could write their own poster um, which says start on it. Don't worry if they don't come out the same though, that's fine. So I've got one sofa, so I'm going to crawl across the sofa. And then because I don't actually have many books here, I've got, um, I'm using all of the <laughs> confetti that we've made for our wedding this summer. Um, and as they're in boxes, I've made a little trail. So I'm going to go in between the boxes. So there's going to be a lot of positional language you can use with your children in this activity. You can use books or toys, or maybe they can make their own trail like this out of some construction bricks instead. Um, but I don't really have any of that here, so I'm having to be creative. So then I'm sure people have got a table, so it might not be high. So see if it's high enough. And then if it is high enough, you can crawl underneath it as part of the obstacle course. Okay, and then I've got some more confetti boxes in my trail, but again, you can use books, you can use toys or construction bricks to make these more curved elements of the trail. And then I'm going to go underneath the blanket, because I'm sure most people have some sort of cloth, if, if not a blanket, they can use. And then again, your child can write um, a poster for the finish marker in the race as well. I've got the medals that we've made from an earlier activity all ready to go. So I'll see you in the next video ready for, um, yeah, ready to go. And I'll teach you all of the elements for the obstacle course and that. Bye.